Hi, my name's Libby and I'm the face behind the crochet upcycling business Hot Knots. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make my signature plastic yarn or plan for short. It's really durable and versatile. Best of all, it's making use of discarded plastic that might otherwise end up in landfill or even the ocean. So to make plan, you can essentially use any type of plastic bag, as long as it's not too thick or too bulky, as this can be difficult to crochet with. Okay, let's get going. So the materials you'll need is just one plastic bag and one pair of large sharp scissors. You can also cut plan using a cutting mat and a rotary knife, which is what I do at home as it's a little bit quicker, but scissors work just as well. If the bag that you're working with has handles like this one does, you'll need to cut across the top line of the bag. You'll then need to cut a line across the bottom of the bag. So about half a centimeter from there, but make sure that you're catching both sides of the bag if it's got a seam. And then you might need to remove any seam plastic from the bottom. So with this one, there's this strip in, inside which creates the seam. So just cut along either side and try and cut it as close to the edge of the seam as you can, but without piercing this section. So ultimately you want to end up with a continuous loop, which has got an open top and an open bottom with no plastic on the inside. Don't throw away the cutoffs. I keep mine aside for other craft projects, or you can also recycle them at a local soft plastics recycling center. So next you need to spin the bag on the table so that the top and the bottom are closed by the seams and the left and the right edges are open where you've just cut the bag. Now we're going to cut slits from the closed bottom right up to about an inch from the closed top. So from the bottom here, right up to about here. This is where you need to consider how thick you want your final yarn to be. You want to continue cutting slits like this the whole way across the bag, leaving the same gray section at the top. You'll see why this is needed in a minute. Okay, so now if you open up what is left of the bag, you'll have slits dangling down like this, which are attached at the top where we stopped cutting through. The next step is to open up the bag so that you can easily see the section that is holding the bag together. Like this. This next step is crucial. We're going to take the scissors and cut diagonal lines across each of the slits that have been cut. To start off, you'll need to cut from the outside edge of the plastic, so about here, to the first slit like this. This is what will give you one end of the yarn. Now we need to continue cutting diagonally from slit to slit until the last slit where we'll cut to the outside of the bag again. So identify the slits and make sure that you're not cutting into any of the plastic underneath. So the second slit will be this one here and we need to cut to this slit here. When you get to the last slit, you need to cut from the slit to the outside of the plastic and that will give you the other end of your yarn. Once you've cut diagonally across all of the slits, it's time to make your plan bundle. So just start the bundle with a free end and wrap it tightly to create a ball. Fold it on itself a couple of times. As you're wrapping, you might want to sort of scrunch it a little bit so that it becomes a little bit more of a yarn texture. And then once you come to the end of the wrapping, secure one end with a crochet hook. So find 
a section of yarn that you can tuck it into and secure it. And there you have it. That's how you make plan. Thanks so much for watching.